Hello, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create an online course using Wix. The reason why I would recommend Wix platform is because it's free to start and you also do not need a credit card to sign up. Once you have signed up with Wix using your email address and creating a password, you'll be redirected to this page. And from here, all I want you to do is type in course. So you're going to type in course. After you have selected that, you will see a few options. You can see course program and you can also see online course program and you'll see numerous other programs. So this, for this example, we will be selecting online course program. Then tap on continue. After you have done that, you will see numerous templates you can choose from. So you can scroll down and you can select any one of these templates. For this example, I will be using this template right here. Let's say I'm creating an online language school. So I'll tap on continue with this template. After you have done that, you will see the option to pick the color of your theme. So you can change the color of the theme at the moment by simply tapping on any one of these. Once you have done that, you're going to tap on save and continue in the bottom left hand corner. After doing that, you will see a few apps that you can add to your website. So let's say for example, you would like to add videos, which more than likely you're going to do that. You're going to also add online programs. Then you can scroll down and if you're planning to sell a product, you could select this right here. And then you can scroll down if you would like to add blogs, you can do that. If you would also like to add pricing plans, which we will, then you can also select that. And if you plan on, excuse me, and if you plan on collecting payments, you could tap on forms and payments. And you can scroll down and you can select any one of these apps that you would like to add. Once you are finished, you are going to tap on go to dashboard. And after selecting go to dashboard, you'll be redirected to your new Wix dashboard. Just give it a few seconds to load up. Okay, now that we are in your dashboard, the first thing you're going to do, you'll see the option add your first service. You're going to tap on that. After you have tapped on that, you will be redirected to this page. Scroll down and you can see a sample service right here. If we were to tap on this one, you can get a preview, you can see the price and you can also scroll down and you can see the price and payment right there. So you'll be able to add the price. The next thing you're going to do, so let's tap on cancel to go back. Then from here, you could tap on add new service in the top right hand corner. And another thing you can also do, you could set up a booking calendar if you want. But we are going to scroll down and right where you see online programs. We are going to tap on that as that is focused towards our course. And from online product programs, better yet, you are going to select program. In programs, you'll be redirected to this dashboard and you are going to tap on create new in the top right hand corner. You'll see five different options. So we are going to select online course. Then you are going to tap on next in the bottom right hand corner as we are building a course and you will see the options start from fresh and create your program from scratch or you could scroll down and you can see how to create a business plan. You could select any one example. We'll start from fresh and then we are going to tap on next. Then you are going to name the course. So I'll simply give the course a name. So let's say simple answers. Then you are going to tap on next. After selecting next, you can see how should participants complete your program, self-paced or schedule, participants complete steps on specific days, or participants can complete steps whenever they'd like. Then you are going to tap on next. After you have done that, how long do participants have to complete your program, unlimited or time limit? I'll select unlimited. Then tap on let's go. After you have done that, you'll be redirected to this page right here. Then from here, you can scroll down and you could select edit in the top right hand corner. 
after you have selected edit you will see the option basic info you could tap on that then from there if you would like to change the program name you can and you're also going to add a cover image or video right there then you're going to add a description after you're finished you'll tap on save then we'll go back and you can also see on this page everything so you'll see visibility and pricing you are going to tap on that then from here you'll be able to set up your price pay to join you could tap on that then from there you can set up the price that you'll be selling your course for after you're finished you'll tap on save then let's go back so we'll tap on discard as we haven't set a price you can also set up scheduling and if you would like to form a group you could also do that and you can create survey tickets or badges for persons depending on the level or how quickly they complete your courses you can do that also if you want and you can scroll down and you'll see numerous options all you'll have to do is fill in these options once you are finished filling in the options, let's go back and you'll see the content right here. So you'll scroll down and you'll see content and you can see introduction. After introduction, you'll be able to add other sections to your course. So you'll simply tap on add section and you could give the section a name. And then from there, you'll be able to add a starter image. Then you can scroll down and you can add a description or you can add videos or any files that you would like to add to your course. And that's it. Once it is finished, what I would recommend you do next is go over to the left hand menu option. And right where you will see finances, you are going to go there. Then you are going to select payments. And after selecting payments, you will be redirected to this dashboard. And from here, what I want you to do is tap on Manage Payment Methods. And after selecting Manage Payment Methods, you'll be redirected to this dashboard on which you'll be able to set up the payment methods that you'll be using to accept payments for your course. So for example, more than likely, you'll be using PayPal. So you'll simply collect, connect the PayPal right here that you'd like to collect from. And you can also connect any one of these other payment methods. And that's it. After you're finished, you're going to go back to home. So let's go back to home right here. And after selecting home in the top left hand corner, what I want you to do next is tap on design. From here, we'll now be able to design how our online course will look, our website will look. So you can see this is the mock-up website at the moment. And it is quite easy to make changes. All you'll have to do is tap on the section that you'd like to edit. For example, if you would like to edit the header, all you'll do is tap on the header section. Once you have done that, you're going to tap on the three dots and you'll see more. Then you could select quick edit. And from here, you'll be able to change anything that you want. So if you would like to add elements, you can do that. And if you would like to delete anything from the header section, you can also do that. And that is basically it with any section. As I said, all you have to do is tap on the section. And then in the top left hand corner, you're going to see a plus. If you should tap on that, you'll see add elements. And from there, you'll be able to add buttons or if you would like to add videos or so on to your website, you can do that. And another important feature is the pages and menu. That is the third option from the top left hand corner. If we should tap on that at the moment, you can see the pages that are currently on our course or our website. And you can select any one of these pages that you would like to edit. And once you are finished and you would like, if you would like to add a page, you could also tap on add page right here. So let's say, for example, we want to edit the video course section. We could simply tap on that. And once we have tapped on it, you can see that that page opens up in the background. Just give it a few seconds and you can see right here. And then from there, you'll be able to edit the page. Once you're finished editing, you'll simply tap on publish in the top right hand corner. And that's it. Hope you found this video helpful and informative. 
If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.